Question number 17. Ching Min San. Be direct. Be direct, Ching Min San. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I have a question for you. Have any of you ever had friends that insult or ignore people when they're mad? Well, for me, I have a few friends like that too. Now, I don't mean to discriminate against these people, but I do have a few questions. Is it so fun to make someone feel like they should be worried about what you think. Is it so fun to make someone feel like they're not worthy of knowing something that you're keeping? And lastly, is it so fun to lead someone on? Now, being direct is as simple as expressing thoughts and feelings that run through your mind. I had this one friend. He was terrible at expressing his feelings. All he could do was just sit there when he was mad or upset at someone. And when he was mad at me, I kept asking, are you okay? Are you okay? He would say nothing and just ignore me even more or even be mean to me. That made me think, should I ask again? Why am I even worrying about this? Does he want to talk to me? These thoughts made me feel like I had to beg for an explanation when I knew I was worthy of one. Now, sure, being direct is simple, but it is also important. You shouldn't sit there expecting someone to console you when you don't say anything yourself. You shouldn't sit there and be selfish by keeping everything in. By doing that, you can hurt people you love or even yourself in the process. Yes. I've lost many friends. I've been judged. I've been called too rude, too blunt, or maybe even mean. But regardless of those comments that run through my mind sometimes, I still remain unaffected because I'm happy with the way I am. I'm happy that I get to express myself without worry or guilt. And I have friends that can understand me the way I understand myself and my feelings. And for all of you out there, remember to say what you want to say, but always remember to be direct. Thank you.